here with my friend and former teammate and member of the 1985 state championship team at Clark Central and now the new head coach here at Clark Central. First question, how does it feel? It's good. It's been good so far. I mean, the kids have responded well. We got good energy in summer. Spring was great, you know, bringing you guys back and, and being involved and showing that people in this community and the former players really care about the program. And, that brought a lot of enthusiasm. Well, you've been a baseball coach, you know, for most of your professional <laughs> career. Talk about what was the first thought when you heard the job was open? What made you want to be the head coach at Clark Central? Well, I, I felt kind of like John Riggins when he went back with the Redskins. <laughs> I was bored, I was right. broke, and I, I need to get back. <laughs> but uh, no, it's um, it, it was an opportunity to give back. I mean, you know, at school they were struggling. They, the last couple years have, haven't been what you and I are right. used to. and. And these kids are, and they're good kids, and we got some talent. So I, I felt like it was an opportunity. And the, the big key for me was could I put together the staff? Being out of football for so long and not connected as well, but I was fortunate. We got a great staff, and they're doing a great job. Well, as far as you coming back and it re, you know, reinventing yourself, so to speak, how have the kids taken to you? I, I mean, as far as I know, it's been great because the numbers are good, yes. and they keep showing up. and doing a real good job and uh, there's a lot of enthusiasm and, and, and I think the timing's right. I mean, it, you know, people are used to Clark Central putting a product on the field right. that's very capable and, and that hadn't been the case the last couple of years, but I think this year we got a chance to do that. As far as the culture, like you talked about, we have former gladiators have been disappointed with, you know, a little bit of the culture and the effort and things like that. What's the first thing from the standpoint of the culture you had to change? Cause you know, they haven't been as confident as we'd like them to be. Well, it's a commitment. Yes. I mean, they, they got to know that it doesn't come easy. Ch mm -hmm. Championships aren't won by chance, they're won by choices. And so they got to make better choices in the classroom. They got to make better choices in the weight room. They got to make better choices in the community, just about changing everything. I mean, it starts from when you wake up, that decision. That's how it was when we were there, mm -hmm. and that's how we got to make it now. And I had a chance to talk to our coach, Billy Henderson, the, and when he described you, the first thing he described you as, tough. Well, I had to be. Hard working. Well, when you have to block guys like Chuck Smith, you better be tough or, or you're not going to last that long. But, uh, you know, we had uh, so many good players in that era that uh, you couldn't take a day off. You took a day off, you were going to watch for the next weekend. So it was uh, it was about it. And, and, you know, Billy, the same things we're trying to implement. Billy was incredible, incredible person, incredible coach, but he always surrounded himself right. with a great staff. Of and course. I think that's that was the key when we were playing. We had great position coaches and not only great teachers, but they they, they really inspired us and, and, and you always want, you never wanted to let them down. And that was the, the case in the culture we're trying to build here. Speaking of culture, one thing about the culture at Clark Central, we don't lose to see the shows now. No. Now, I, I, now, one of the things that Billy talked about at the spring game was rule number one of being a gladiator, we have to beat Cedar Shoals. How important is that to building up, you know, back that rivalry and making it relevant and important for the kids again? Well, it, it, it's huge. I mean, not only because they're a region team. Right. And, and so it's a game that you got to win to get you that much closer to getting in the playoffs. So, you know, it's going to be tough because the coach over there now has got a little bit of Clark Central in him. So that, that never was the case, bit, but he's bit. got a little bit of Clark Central in him. And I hope, hopefully it's not enough to overwhelm us, but uh, we, we'll be OK. I think our key is getting off to a good start and getting that enthusiasm, keeping our numbers strong and getting these kids committed. And, you know, one of the things we never had to worry about was when, when we played Cedar was we, we could always match up. Right. We were going to match up with anybody, and, and, and hopefully that'll be the case this year. But if not, you know, our, our deal is we just got to do what we can do and, and take it, control the controllables. And you don't never, one of the things that Billy never had to really build that game up to us. Mm -hmm. We right. knew what was at stake, and I, I think we'll take that same approach. We're not going to build it up too much because we want them to be who they are and do what they've done all year. and. Hopefully they'll they'll do it against Cedar Shoals. Well, you don't have to build them up because I'm going to do that. All the right. Classic City rivalry is back. <laughs> We're about to get after it, but nonetheless, I'm excited. I'm proud you're back.